Hi guys, before we get on with the video, one quick thing. Are you a skating fan? Do you feel the lack of figure skating content? Is off season extremely boring? Then try and numb your pain by clicking the subscribe button and get blessed by the skating gods today. Hello everyone. Today we will be covering a very important topic, the Grand Prix season. Now, what is a Grand Prix you may ask? So, firstly, this is not a Grand Prix. This is a Grand Prix. It is basically composed of six main events scattered in different places around the world. Several skaters compete at these events to hopefully gain a spot at the Grand Prix final, where the top six athletes for each discipline come together for an exciting, nerve-wracking competition. The events do not have a strict timetable, so the order in which they are held always changes. For the upcoming season, the 2019-2021, however, the first event will be Skate America. It'll be held in Las Vegas. Nevada from October the 18th till October the 20th. As this competition happens within US borders, you can usually find that the best skaters from the US skating team are assigned to Skate America. The same goes for all the other events. Among the many skaters who are to attend it, we have US stars Nathan Chen, Jason Brown, Brady Tennell, and Karen Chen, alongside Corey Sakamoto, Wakaba Higuchi, Elizaveta Taktabashiva. Elizabeth Tursin Beaver, Yun Sulim, Boyangin and Jun Wen Cha. Skate Canada is the second held in Kelowna, Canada, from the 25th to the 27th of October. Among the Canadians who are going to compete here, we have Gabriel Daleman, Aurora Kotop and Nam Nguyen. Others to look forward to are Russians Evgenia Medvedeva and Alexandra Trusova, Japanese is Rika Kihira and May Mahara and Brady Tennell for ladies, with Yuzuru Hanayu. Mihail Kalada and Matteo Rizzo for men. Next up is Internationale de France, in Grenoble, France, from the 1st to the 3rd of November. Some of the French skaters will be Kevin Amiles and Lorraine Le Cavalier, alongside our favorite ice dance team Papa Darkis Cizeron, Alina Zajatova, Aliona Kostornavia, Kori Sakamoto, Shoma Yuno and Nathan Chen are also to attend the event. After comes Cup of China. That this year happens to be in Chongqing, from November the 8th till November the 10th. Here we'll see again Elizaveta Taktabashiva, Elizabeth Tursin Beaver, Anish Cherbakova, three very strong Japaneses, Junwen Char and Matteo Rizzo, with some newcomers such as Sofia Samadarova and Vincent Zhou. Chinese stars are Boyang Gin and current world champions and legends themselves Wen Ging Sui and Kong Han. Second to last is Ristela Kum Cup, always held in Moscow. It'll go from the 15th to the 17th of November. Evgenia Medvedeva, Alexandra Trusova and Dmitry Aliyev will be the Russians' representatives, but I would suggest you also look out for Satoko Miyahara, Mariah Bell, Shoma Yuno and Vincent Joe. The last event will be the NHK Trophy, which will take place in Sapporo from November the 22nd till November the 24th. Yuzia Ruhanai will be the indiscussed star of the event, but Rika Kihira, Alina Zajatova, Arlena Kostornavia, Jason Brown and Mikhail Kalida will also be there. To know who's going to the final, we need to look carefully at the following scheme. If a skater gets first in one of their assignments, they earn 15 points. If they get second, 13 points, third 11 and so on. It is therefore really easy to tell who made it, as we only need to look at the six skaters with the highest points. If two skaters are battling it out for the last spot, the one who's added scores from their event or higher gets sent. If one withdraws, the seventh best placed skater gets their spot. If you followed Worlds this past season, you will have noticed that the Worlds medalists are always assigned to different events. Also, it is not the skaters who decide where to go, but they are either sent to a certain event by their federation or invited by the federation that hosts the event. The skaters who participate in the Grand Prix circuit are selected by their own skating federation, that decides whether to give them one or two assignments. To potentially make it to the final, however, a skater needs to be assigned to two events, and that is it. I think I covered everything I intended to. I would also like to wish everyone who is competing in this upcoming Grand Prix season good luck. I hope you guys found this video helpful and informative. See you next time.